Good morning, mighty man. This morning we're going to pray for holy zeal, righteousness in America, and redemption. Our Bible reading is 1 Samuel chapters 8 through 15. Chapter 11, verse 1. Then Nahash the Ammonite went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead, and all the men of Jabesh, the Israelites there, said to Nahash, Make a treaty with us, and we will serve you. Verse 5. Now behold, Saul was coming from the field behind the oxen, and Saul said, What is wrong with the people? Why are they weeping? So they told him the news of the men of Jabesh. And the Spirit of God rushed upon Saul when he heard these words, and his anger was greatly kindled. Chapter 12, verse 21. And do not turn aside from uh, after empty things that cannot profit or deliver, for they are empty. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you a people for himself. And then 15 and 22. And Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of divination, and presumption is as iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. Of course, he was talking to Saul. Let's pray. Father, we pray that your people today would have the righteous anger that Saul had when your spirit rushed upon him. Lord, that we would judge those things that you have given us authority over to judge, that we would exercise the dominion just as Israel was supposed to exercise dominion over their land. Father, we pray for these days where we are in the midst of uh, what some have called for a 21-day uh, period of prayer and fasting. Lord, we pray for an anointing for fasting. We pray, God, that this would be a powerful time, that your purposes would be accomplished, and that we would draw near to you, Lord, through this, because fasting is all about intimacy. Lord, we pray that your spirit would rush upon us during this time. We ask, God, that you would give us a spirit of repentance because we too have turned us after empty things that cannot profit or deliver, for they are empty. Even in your church, Lord, maybe especially in your church. But we thank you, Lord, for your word where you say that you will not forsake us. That is, unless we forsake you. So, Lord, teach us obedience Lord, teach us to do what is right. To It's not about sacrifice. It's mainly about obedience. And Lord, reveal in your church the divination, the occult, the curses and the, and the spells that are even in the church, Lord, and reveal our presumption. Father, we pray that you would show us what idolatry looks like in the modern world, that we would not have any illusions that we are not an idolatrous people because we don't set up carved images and worship them, but we are still engaged in idolatry because we put other things before you and we look for those things to prosper us, to bless us, instead of looking to you to bless us. Lord, show us this idolatry in our hearts. And Father, we pray that you would redeem us, redeem us by the blood of the cross, by the blood of Christ himself. And Lord, revive us, revive us again and bring a great awakening to our nation, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you like this video, share it. Shalom.